Hey guys, this is F&G Whiskey. Today we've got a sample Sunday. It's an old Fitzgerald, but it's the 17 year. All right guys, welcome back to F&G Whiskey. So I'm super excited today. Um, I did a trade here recently, and in the trade, I got an old Fitzgerald 17 year. So this is a 2002, or yeah, 2022 spring release. Um, in the trade, we had a couple bottles, and then I asked, hey, do you have anything unique that you could throw in? And he threw in this old Fitz. So uh, even made a comment that he wanted me to review it on the channel. So uh, here we go. Let's give it a shot. I'm, I'm pretty excited. He didn't seem too enthusiastic about it. Um, I told him that I think I had the 11 on here and I thought it was just a mediocre bourbon. So Heaven Hill is a, or sorry, Old Fitz is a Heaven Hill product. Um, they're always going to be bottled and bonds, so they're always going to come in at that 100 proof. And then they usually have a pretty solid age statement on the front. Some of the releases are at the distillery only. Um, I'm not 100% sure, correct me in the comments below. But I believe that the green ones are released, the red ones are at the distillery only. Um, I have an old nine year here. I have been waiting to crack this when I get another one. Um, spoiler alert, I think I may be getting one in a trade here soon. So uh, maybe we'll crack this one or possibly that other one. But yeah, let's get into it. This will be my second time trying old fits. Ooh, very, very nutty, like right out of the glass. Yeah, I'm getting that Heaven Hill nutty note pretty heavily. Wow. Not a lot going on. I mean, you get the oak, you get that like honey, honey nut sweetness that Heaven Hill provides. But I'm not really getting anything else. Yeah, it kind of kind of smells like a sweet, cracked, like when you're at a, oh, what is that? Texas Roadhouse when they crack the nuts and they just crack them on the floor. Like it has that smell, but also a sweetness. So it's like honey, honey roasted nuts. Man, I can kind of see where he's coming from. This isn't knocking my socks off. It's good, but it's not complex. I'm not getting, I'm not getting uh, any fruit notes, uh, anything specific on that. The oak is not over oak. So um, for 17 years in the barrel at, at 100 proof, you would think that you, you might be getting um, a lot more barrel spice. I get just a hint of barrel spice. Maybe I'll let it sit on my tongue for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty disappointing. Um, the mouthfeel is not amazing. Um, it does have a finish. I think it would be like a medium labeled finish, but it's very one dimensional. I'm a, uh, This is, oh, this is tough. Um, I thought I was really gonna like this whiskey. I get a little bit more vanilla now. Um, I think I dodged a bullet on not finding this bottle because I think that if I had a full bottle of it, I would have took a couple sips and then I would have wanted to trade for something else. Um, I hope this one's better. When I bought this one, the guy at the store had tried it and said it was pretty solid. Um, yeah, this is so disappointing. Yeah, not much change there. Um, some of the oak is kind of tamed down and it's gotten a little more sweet with the vanilla note that I've kind of brought up. Yeah, so uh, 17 year, I think it retails for like 150, 170, somewhere in that range. Um, 
if you see it, you buy it. I mean, all of us whiskey enthusiasts, how often do we see these bottles? If you see it, you buy it. Now, would I pay any more? No, I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't search for this on secondary. Um, I'm glad that I got a sample of it because now I don't have that question in the back of my head, did I miss out? So there's definitely no FOMO here. Um, yeah, gosh, that's, that's super disappointing. Um, and I think he'd had it open for a while, so it's not like it's a neck pour and it's bad or anything. But uh, yeah, eh, you like some, you don't. But let me know your opinion. If you had this bottle and was able to try it, let me know. Um, could just be my palate. My palate could be off today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Keep searching for that perfect pour. Cheers, guys.